In this third harder titration calculations video, I'm going to look at how you can calculate the concentration of an original solution before it's been diluted in both moles per decimeter cubed and grams per decimeter cubed. So there's the question there. So if you wanted to pause the video, have a go at that and then play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so like I always do, I've got the information on a little diagram there to help visualize what's happening. But ultimately in this question, we want to know the concentration of the vinegar in that original solution there. And we've got to express it in the, the sort of traditional moles per decimeter cubed, but also in grams per decimeter cubed, which sometimes does get asked. Okay, so the first thing we can do is calculate the moles of potassium hydroxide because we know the concentration and volume. So concentration, 0.1 volume in decimeters cubed, 0.025. So there are 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of potassium hydroxide involved in this titration. Second thing we can do is work out the moles of the ethanoic acid. So we're assuming that the vinegar is just ethanoic acid. So the information we need there is in the balanced chemical equation. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So the moles of ethanoic acid in that 13.90 titer is going to be the same, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. So once we know the moles in the 13.9 cm cubed titer, we need to scale up to how many moles must have been in this 250 cm cubed, and hence in the original undiluted vinegar solution. So the way we do that is we divide the moles in the 13.9 by 13.9, and that gives us the moles in 1 cm cubed, and then multiply up by 250, which will tell us the moles in there, but more importantly, the moles in there. So that's coming out at 0.04496 dot dot dot. I'm just keeping the number in the calculator there. But the important thing, just to make this point again, that's how many moles are in this original 25 cm cubed of vinegar. So to turn that into a concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, we just divide the moles by the volume. Remember, there's 25 cm cubed of that. So we're going to divide this by the 25, but it's got to be in dm cubed. And that'll give us the moles per decimeter cubed concentration. So that's given me a calculator value for the concentration of 1.79856, a few numbers after that as well, to three significant figures, which is appropriate here, 1.80 moles per decimeter cubed. And the final thing, we've got to turn that into a concentration, but in grams per decimeter cubed. So all we've got to do is turn the moles of ethanoic acid into grams. So mass equals moles times MR. So all I'm going to do is take that 1.80 moles per decimeter cubed, multiply by the MR of um, ethanoic acid, which is 60. And that gives me to three significant figures 108 grams per decimeter cubed. 